This group came with the Institute for Voices of Liberty, which is dedicated to encouraging democracy in Iran. Ellie Kohenim's family fled the republic when she was five years old. They are here to tell the people of Israel that they support them and they reject the Iranian regime's anti-Semitism and genocidal desire to wipe Israel off the face of the earth. In 1979, the revolution led by Ayatollah Khomeini turned Iran from a pro-Western power to a country dedicated to destroying Israel and spreading its Islamic beliefs worldwide. These Iranians call the past 42 years an aberration in Iran's long history. Unfortunately, this regime is at war with Iranian history, culture, civilization, and most importantly, Iranian values of tolerance and acceptance. We're here to make it very clear to the people of Israel that the Iranian people stand with the people of Israel and that we condemn the regime in Iran, which is an occupying force. For the past year, the world has heard about the Abraham Accords. One of the goals of this mission is to let people know about what they call the Cyrus Accords. Abraham Accords, of course, as everybody here knows, is uh, a peace agreement between Israel and its Arab neighbors. We feel that just as that peace was um, hard to believe that it would happen, uh, and it did happen, uh, Cyrus Accords, a peace a deal between Israel and uh, a future free democratic Iran, uh, is possible as well. These accords are named after the Persian king, who allowed the Jews to rebuild the second temple in Jerusalem. And so the uh, Iranian people believe that for 2,500 years there were warm relations between the people of Israel and people of Iran. My story is really the prime example of that. You know, the Iranian Jews, we were the, one of the most ancient Jewish communities in the world. We lived side by side our neighbors for over 2,500 years. I am Iranian culturally. You know, my heart is still with my brothers and sisters in the country. And so this regime that came in in 1979, they are a complete aberration. They preach hatred, but the people are rejecting. Ahmed Batabi served two years in an Iranian jail as a political prisoner. The main message is uh, we are not your enemy. We love you. We can be not necessarily friends. We can be brother. We have a lot of uh, you know, uh, uh, cultural values that we can make uh, a, a good uh, Middle East with, with these values. Although the mission traveled throughout the country, they felt it significant as Iranians to visit Jerusalem. The city, a once great Persian ruler, helped to rebuild. I wish you could have seen the awe that various delegates saw when they walked in the city of David, when they heard the history that stems through uh, from Cyrus the Great uh, through various millennia and how much the two people have in common. And I think it just reinforced the reason why they came here. And um, we hope that this is not a one-off, that this is a beginning of a long-term process which inevitably ends up in peace and prosperity for both people right after they sign the Cyrus Accords, of course. In the meantime, their hearts remain back home. Lots of my countrymen inside Iran, which I talk to them, I read their messages, they are hoping, they are desperate and are waiting every minute, every second for the uh, dismantlement of the Iranian Islamic Republic.